Hey there, guys. So today to celebrate, we have our caramel icing video that I made with my dad, dad, Robert, daughter, Laren. I don't cook, but they do. They just let me watch. It reached 4,000 views. So we're going to make the chocolate cake that goes with it, which is on the back of the Hershey's cocoa can. So let's make it. Ready? Get what? What do we do first? Well, we put all the dry ingredients in the bowl here. Okay, what's first? Uh, two cups sugar. Okay. One. Two. What's next? Um, one and three fourths cups of all purpose flour. All right, let me. All right, so there's a trick to measuring out flour. Well, we, um, some people say you can fork it on, spoon it on your cup. I just I stir the flour, put a little bit. air in it. Yeah, okay, uh, it says one and what three fourths cup, three fourths. So we get one of those. That's one. Two. Three. Okay. What are the other dry ingredients? Um, three fourths cup Hershey's cocoa powder. Oh. You got it right there. All right. I dare you to taste it. <laughs> it's dry and bitter. <laughs> I'll do one to show you. The trick is to come over to the side, the flat side there, and sort of scrape it off. You got a fourth of a cup. Can you do two of those? I can try. Taste it. Taste it. Do you remember when we did that in kindergarten? Mm -hmm. We okay. tricked y'all with the bitter chocolate, with the baking chocolate. <laughs> Just tap it over. Yeah, that's good. That's good. One more. So cocoa, you want to pack it down. Or it doesn't matter if it packs it down. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's That's good. Yeah, you want to close it up so you'll have your recipe handy. What um, else? One and a half teaspoons of baking powder. There's a one. You can do three of these. Or one and one. Ooh, fractions. Yeah, just, no, that's good. All right, one of these. All right, what's next? Um, the same thing with baking soda. Baking soda. Okay. We'll use a is a spatula here to level it out. Level that one, okay. Now I have to say this is the best chocolate cake recipe. It's pretty easy too. Yeah. Follow the directions. Laren likes to add chocolate chips. That's why she's helping. So there will be like chocolate chips in this one. Okay. It makes it all gooey and delicious. It's delicious. Go oh, ahead and say it. Say it, Laren. Yummy. Oh, it's yeah, yummy. It. Um, <laughs> and one teaspoon salt. Mm -hmm. It's pretty easy to shake it and level it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. All right. What's next? Wet ingredients. Okay. Do you mix the dry ingredients first or yeah, no? Let's, let's so, put, shake. It, uh, put it in. Turn it just firm. Yeah. Okay. Here's the. Uh, this is the. All right. Okay. What number? Uh, just put in a one. So you don't have Easy. to mix the dry ingredients, but it's good. Oh, yeah, it's good to mix them. Yeah. Action shot. 
Round yeah, and the round she goes. When you have the wet ingredients, it'll darken up. Hmm. Two eggs in, but we're not going to mix it till we get some milk in it. We'll put the wet ingredients. He doesn't get shells either. Okay. It's a pro. Guess that makes me a pro. You're a pro. Okay, here's your... You can put this one in and we'll use this spatula here to... Yeah. Scrape all the eggy goodness no, out. Hey, quiet. And we'll lay a spatula across it. What's next? Um... One cup milk. A cup of milk. All right, we need a glass measuring cup. We have to go over here for that. Are we using almond milk? Yes. Or regular milk? Mm -hmm. You well, can use either? Either one will do, yeah. Okay. We use almond milk because that's what we have. I use regular milk because that's all we have. I like almond milk better. Either one. It works well either way. Okay. A cup of milk. So I guess you could, if if you were doing like gluten-free, you could adjust this. Yeah. You could, because well, all you would have to. Gluten-free because of the flour. Okay. You, you could, well, maybe there's some substitutions. We'll look those up. All right. A cup of milk going in. Okay. All right, now. We're going to use... How much oil is it called for? A uh, half cup. Half cup. Called half cup of vegetable oil, and we're using... We're using avocado oil. But you could use light olive oil, too, you could right? use olive oil, yes. Or regular old vegetable oil. Any vegetable oil would work. That is it? Yep. You use your spatula to... Sure you got all the oil. Get all that yummy oil, Larry. I'm not good at using a spatula. You gotta practice, man. Well, I can mix with a spatula. I'm just not that good at cleaning with them. Okay. All right. What do we lack? Uh, Hot water, right? No, that's that's after it mixes. Oh, after it mixes. Two after. teaspoons vanilla extract. Two teaspoons. See if we got enough in that one. Can you measure it? Yeah, should I measure it over there? Or? Yeah, just measure it over here. Let me do one, you do one. Okay. How about that? Okay, that's one. No, there might be enough in that one left. Yeah, I think there is. I'm going to have to squeeze it. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Wait. I did have two. <laughs> that it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Turn it on one again. Easy, easy. There you go. I'll let that mix. And you, we hand mixed it, didn't we? Did you can't. No, I mixed it with the. Um, oh, with the blenders. Okay. The handheld. Okay. We just. Uh, Spray it with a little Pam and put some flour in it. I think that's what we forgot last time was the flour. Actually, Our pans are non-stick. Well, we oiled it, but it didn't need flour. Did it, did it stick? Yes. No. <laughs> what cake are you talking about? Well, Your birthday cake that stuck? It barely if stuck. You, if you're going to take it out of the pan, more important to have we, it we didn't take it out we just kept it in the pan yeah okay all right this is this is the hot water part yep. okay that's good put in the microwave and hit the tube for two minutes two minutes mm -hmm. express all right, mix it fast. Mm. That looks good. I bet it smells good too. Mm. Mm. Oh, it looks good. Smells good. Can you smell that? Okay, let's, let's... <laughs> so why are you bring that? The blender thingy. Mm.
Cool. All right. Thank All right. You. So one cup boiling water. Okay. Just pour it in. Great googly and googly. <laughs> then you just gently stir it like this. You got it? Gently, Laren. You got it. This time. You stir it to all the Although, water is mixed with the other Our bowl was smaller. Right. Yeah, you can do it. No, added no eggs and more um, Sounds like water. Sounds like hot chocolate. And milk, it would be like hot chocolate. Yeah, it's pretty. Hot it is. It is one of the runnier cake batters. Yes, yeah, his batter will be thin. But it cooks to be a nice, fluffy, moist cake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. What? This is ready to go in the pan. So if we add chocolate chips, like Laren wants, let it, we let it cook about ten minutes. Okay. Then we'll just put the chocolate chips on top, and let them cook in. If you go ahead and put them in now, chances are they'll, some of them will sink. And then it's just a layer of chocolate on the bottom. And it'll be probably well, harder to get out. Yeah, it's, some of them will tend to uh, burn if you, if you put them in too soon, they go to the bottom. And how long does it cook for, the all total? Mm. 35 minutes? Yeah, 30 to 35. For the, for the toothpick. And now we wait. All right, we're going to put this in a preheated 350 degree oven. Okay. And we'll add the, we'll set a timer for about 10 minutes. Yeah. For the okay. chocolate chips and then 35 minutes total. All right. All right, we're taking it out of the oven. Well, to add, or we just sprinkle we're them in. Gonna sprinkle, yeah, just. Uh, we uh, just sprinkle them in. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh yummy. One. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so here it is, chocolate cake with caramel icing. I cannot wait to try it. Thank you to Robert and Laren, and thank you for learning with Miss Roseberry. See you next time. Okay, I couldn't wait. I had to have just a little taste of this cake. Don't tell. Okay. So maybe we all had to have a little taste. Look how moist that is. That's good. What do y'all think? Mm. Don't tell the others. Mm.